protiv fašizma, solidarno protiv fašizma. Uspeli smo, uspeli, uspeli smo, uspeli. We were so afraid all the time, living in the fear, and the day of the pride was the, the most terrifying day in my life. I wasn't proud at all being there because gay didn't come because they were afraid. It was uh, hard because uh, all the police, there were more than us, and like 20,000 people that came from over the country to, to, to kill the people that won the pride. And they also have weapons, you know, guns, uh, knives. They were also shooting on police. 24-year-old student Dejan Ilempievich remembers last year's inaugural gay pride parade in Belgrade only too well. Only about 600 people turned up for it because of fears that it would degenerate into violence, and it did. Anti-gay protesters disrupted the march, throwing petrol bombs at police who responded with rubber bullets and tear gas. A large portion of the brutality was by far-right hooligans, but some violence was also instigated by highly organized ultra-nationalist political parties and organizations, which have aligned themselves with the conservative Orthodox Church. So it's not surprising, perhaps, that there's tension leading up to next weekend's parade. Gay activists, NGOs, and supportive political parties are preparing for another stand. But the mayor of Belgrade, Dragan Gilas, has already said he's hesitant to approve another march. Looking back at last year, I don't think we achieved a successful gay pride, and I don't think that our society has moved forward over the last 12 months so as to prevent the entire city from being destroyed again. But activists are soldiering on. Sergeon Kamparelic is president of the executive board of the Social Democratic Union, an open supporter of gay pride. He says they're willing to do what it takes for a more open society. We expect that the violence of the last year will happen again. And because of that, we know that we have to, to do what is right, no matter how we are afraid. There are a lot of LGBT people who don't want to uh, express themselves to the public that uh, they are... Um, gay, they are LGBT, but I understand this. Uh, they are afraid of their cousins, they are afraid of the people who are against them, maybe their friends who are not so open-minded, but here we are who are fighting for a better world, and uh, because of that we are uh, here for them. And I, I call them to go with us, but I will understand if they not come out this day. Gay pride has come late to Serbia. Male homosexuality was only legalized in 1994. In 2001, the first attempt to organize a pride parade was made, but it ended in violence from ultra-nationalists. At that time, beating gays in the streets was unlikely to trigger much reaction. In 2009, the government canceled pride again due to the same threats. Student Dejan Elampovic says being gay in Serbia means keeping quiet. But he says that fighting for rights in public might be the first step to changing a country riddled with social and cultural prejudice. For me, activism is just one of way to survive in Serbia, to make some kind of uh, emotional stability. But uh, it mostly that, uh, that activism until now didn't make so many change in society. And that's very sad. Dayan says anti-homosexual sentiments in Serbia are connected to the wider issue of discrimination and society's reluctance to accept something different. Uh, not only gays, it's mostly about Roma people, about Albanians, Muslims, Cro people from Croatia. And depends on the situation, they focus their hate. So now in this month and month after this, going to be, everybody's going to change to hate the LGBT population. And after that, nobody will talk about that until next Pride. But according to Goran Miletish, the fact that gay rights is even a topic means a step in the right direction. He's the program director for the Western Balkans Division of the international organization Civil Rights Defenders and is on the organizational committee for Belgrade Pride 2011. Nowadays, LGBT issue became higher, higher on the agenda. This was not like that 10 years ago. And I think it's good, uh, I mean, that LGBT issues are finally on agenda because if we have a discussion in society about LGBT rights and if we have government that is protecting, I mean, then other, other minority groups could, could be some kind of focus uh, uh, as well. Goran believes Serbia is no different from other European countries in the humble beginnings of their gay rights movement. 
if you compare even the countries like like Sweden or Norway or so on, when they when they start uh, Pride Parade, um, great majority of LGBT community was uh, uh, kind of ex against uh, gay pride, and nowadays this became mainstream, like it became fun. In the moment when it became fun, then it became acceptable for everyone. But it's clear that many Serbs don't yet see the fun side to gay pride. Activists are calling on the authorities and the police to fully support and protect those who take to the streets next Sunday. But nobody can predict if the event will pass off peacefully. Melanie Savchenko, Deutsche Welle Radio.